Howdy y'all and happy Valentine's Day. It is February 14th, 2022 and it's a chilly evening tonight. I thought I'd get a little bit of chicken nightlife action, but as soon as I came out, they all hopped down and were wanting attention. So they were just starting to roost, but maybe I'll catch them another day and show you guys. Um, I brought them a little treat. I brought him uh, some lettuce, so I'm gonna feed him that and hang out with him for a little bit. And then uh, they're pretty well taken care of for the night. So they had a simple, easy Valentine's Day. And uh... they're still not really that big into extra treats and food. So weird. You think they would just gobble down lettuce like it's nothing. Most chickens I've ever had always do, but for whatever reason, these girls just aren't that interested. They just like their chicken food. It's getting quite dark, but they still just aren't going up. They are too into me and what I'm doing. Aren't you chickens? But this is usually when they start hopping up there, so I'm sure as soon as I leave, they'll hop on up. Howdy y'all, today is February 15th, out here with the chickens again. Another beautiful sunny day. I'm gonna go ahead and raise up their food and water a little bit because the bedding is slowly building up, so their food and water are getting closer and closer to the ground. So I'm gonna raise those up so that way I can bed more easily and junk doesn't get scratched in there like they've been doing a little bit more frequently. So, got that on schedule, and I also remembered a knife. So this is a Leatherman. I really like Leathermans, um, especially the multi-tool. It comes in handy so many times, you have no idea. So, uh, I'm just gonna mess around and then I'll uh, be outside the coop for a little bit, doing a little bit of cleanup. This chicken coop is boiling today. We're currently at 75 inside the coop. Outside it's 44, but with all the sun, uh, it's really heating up in here. Definitely gonna be turning this heat lamp off. For the next couple of days, it's gonna be pretty toasty. Uh, we're gonna be in the 50s and 60s, even overnight. And then uh, weather system's gonna move through. It'll bring two to three inches of rain. So it'll probably get pretty swampy and then the temperature starts to dip after that. So I'm out looking for a spot for the beehive. Uh, it's really nice and woodsy back here. Uh, so I'm going to bring the hive out a little bit further. There's a field on one side and then the property on another side. So I want to be able to keep the boundary between the two properties. Uh, but I also kind of want to clean it up a little bit just so it looks a little more upkept. And then uh, easier access to get around the beehive as well. So slowly working on that today. Uh, fun little project. Good to get out of the house and do something when there's really nothing else going on on the farm. So I'll keep you guys posted. Dragging that pile was a lot harder than it looked, y'all. Well, I think we made some progress. Looks a lot better. Freed up a couple trees, cleaned out a lot of junk on the bottom, so always a plus. And we still kept that boundary, not too shabby, but definitely cleaned it up a little. Those big old shrubs are 
on their last leg though. So try and clean up around them as much as possible and make them. Y'all, it is February 16th and my dad and I are just out running around this morning and we were just a stone's throw away from the feed mill. So we're gonna run over there and I'm gonna grab four bags of chicken food and two bags of shavings. So that'll get me through about two months on the food and shavings. I might have to go pick up some more eventually, but we're gonna run over there and do that. And then I will drop them off over at the chicken coop. I'll fit in there perfectly the four bags and then a couple bags of bedding so I am going to unload all this I'll probably leave a bag in the trunk I don't know how much is gonna fit over there in the uh, trash can but uh, we'll see and then I'll go ahead and move the bedding back there All in all, today it was a pretty fun day. I had a couple surprise visitors. Uh, my mom and dad popped in as well as my aunt. So that was fun. Uh, there was a lot of people in the coop today, which is neat. Um, it's getting a little cloudy out. The wind's picking up a little bit. So even though it's almost 60 degrees, it's kind of cool out. Uh, so I got some rain moving in a little later, I think tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, so yeah, these girls are done. They got plenty of attention today. They were spoiled as usual. So big bird and are hanging out on me. Two most social birds. So I'm gonna hang out with them for a little bit and then uh, take off. I did do a price comparison on the feed barn stuff, which is this, and then the shavings from Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply is actually a few cents cheaper, but it's really not that big of a deal. You get a bigger bag uh, going with the feed barn stuff right here. Uh, it's also nice because I already am picking up chicken feed, so why not pick up the bedding? So for me, it's worth it to just pay a couple extra cents bag and. Uh, just have everything there at that one stop so I don't have to run two places, but just in case you're curious, Drag Supply is cheaper by a few cents. Today 
is February 17th and the rain is here. Oh, gross. It's very swampy in here. Tired chicken coop is just, oh, you can't tell from the video so much. But everything in here, soaking wet. So, I grabbed those two bales, thankfully. So I'm going to do that because there's literally just water. Oh my gosh, what a mess. All right, I'm gonna start bedding this down. As you can see, the chickens are hanging out on higher ground today. Can't say as a blame them, so work on getting this dry. a little bit but you can tell it's just water all underneath here still so if I were to step on this get pretty muddy pretty quick so thankfully the chickens are light so I'll keep spreading this out and should help them out but we're gonna be getting rain for another couple hours so I'll probably have to use both bags you can see where I'm stepping even it's already starting to come through a little but much better than what they were already so we're gonna keep at it all right we're definitely looking better as you can tell all the chickens have jumped down now uh, scratch the new stuff and also it's dry so they appreciate that it's never good to let your animals just stand in water no matter what sort of livestock or animal you're dealing with uh, so definitely good to keep things dry that way they can go about being a chicken and not just hanging out on the bales all day so they're looking much better now I'm gonna have to move this coop in the future because this is very swampy out here
We're supposed to be getting two to three inches by the time it's all said and done. So, all right guys, it's February 18th, the day after that winter storm came through and everything is really soggy in here, even after bedding it down. So I'm going to bed it again and then uh, get these girls all fixed. All right, so the chickens are looking and feeling much better. Yesterday I went through a bag and a half just to help uh, with the water. Today I used the other half bag. There's big birds down here tearing up. Uh, I used another half bag today just to kind of top dress everything. Now it's nice and dry. It's uh, below freezing. So this winter storm was actually a little crazier than the last one just because of how much rain we got. And then there was a big 40 degree drop really quick. So that froze everything up. So. This one I would say is a little worse just because the location of the coop was just such a low spot. So anyway, the chickens are good now. I'm definitely going to have to go out and get some more bedding though because that took two full bags to keep them nice and dry for these past two days. So we won't be getting rain for a little while, so they should be set. Uh, but I don't like being empty handed on supplies, so probably run out to Tractor Supply or wherever I'm closest to next to get some more bedding.